Greetings fellow humans, and as you can see by this wonderful effect, this is Tea with JP, and I'm actually going to be doing the LitCon uh, Heads or Tails book and author tag. First off, I'm the one who designed the tag because I'm I'm clever that way, and Heads and Tails, Tails, T-A-L-E-S, clever stuff. Um, what is LitCon and what is the tag? LitCon, um... It's an online convention. It's this weekend. You're cordially invited. Um, when you go to a book convention, uh, there's an author side and there's the reader side. And we just want the two worlds to meet in this event. Um, this online book event is, you know, you don't have to pay for crappy food or pay for parking. You just, you just gotta go to the link. I'll include the link to LitCon so that you can swing by this weekend in case you're interested. There, there are actually a lot of authors and a lot of panels. Anyways, this tag is 10 questions, five for readers, five for writers. You can do one, you can do the other, or you can do both. Since I am both, I shall do both. So, <clears throat> heads. Reader side, where stories want to get cozy. First question, have you gone to a book convention or Comic-Con? Uh, if so, which have you gone to and some highlights? Uh, I'm a big fan of comic conventions. I can't say I've, I've gone to many book conventions. Uh, I think the, I think nothing officially just book related. Um, I've gone to Dragon Con, I've gone to Atlanta Comic Con, I've gone to Puerto Rico Comic Con, my beloved Puerto Rico Comic Con, I've gone to Jordan Con, and it's, it's always enjoyable and just seeing people in their in their element in their geekness and just let it all out it just makes me so happy um and to be able to express my own geekness uh, either dressed as wolverine because i got this gruff or as a civilian question number two what's the biggest book haul you've ever had at a bookstore or, or a convention i don't have huge book hauls i think the biggest one i had was at jordan con um, and it was about 15 books. Um, I saw authors, indie authors of all likes, and I'm, I'm reading their work now. And it's been interesting. And, you know, I really love to read indie. I really love to read stuff that's, you know, a, a little different. And and Jordan Con, at least the last time I went, had a lot of great stuff. And uh, most of what I've read, I've really enjoyed. So hurry for me for being a good a good buyer. Question number three, how varied do you read in regards to genres? If a book is good, a book is good. Um, I read nonfiction, I read philosophy, I read psychology, I read YA, I read middle grade fantasy, urban fantasy, science fiction, horror, mystery, whatever. If the book is good, the book is good. I just like to read. I like to read broadly. Question number four. Do you read mainly mainstream indie classics or a mix? I like to mix it up. And actually I do have uh, three classics that I'm gonna be tackling, which is Anne of Green Gables, um, Tom Sawyer, and The Adventures of Hulk Berry Finn. Um, and I'll also be reading um, the Green Fairy Book, the Red Fairy Book, or whatever, the, the different fairy books with fairy tales and stuff like that. Indie, I just got, um, I'm reading one from Michael J. Elliott, my, my wonderful author friend from Australia. Um, I just finished one from Jordan Khan from another indie author. And before that, I read one from Bobby Nash, another indie friend. Um, cool people. Um, traditionally published or more of the top five, I do have intel to read two books by uh, Romina Garber, who is an Argentinian, Argentinian um, author uh, based, I think, in Florida. I'm not sure. Super cool, very lovely lass, uh, great series. I'm reading the Zodiac series. If you haven't checked it out, by all means do. <clears throat> As for how do I found, find out about new books? I don't normally read new books unless it's from someone I know, um, but I find out about a lot of books from BookTube, from discovering a new author and what their influences are. Uh, authors that I like, what did they read, what they, what are the, the books that they say, oh, you have to read this. And just by accident, I, I come across a lot of books. So, second part of the tag, which would be Tales, the author side, the scruffy author side in my case, uh, where stories come from. 
Um, if you're a reader and you want to tackle these questions, by all means, go for it. This is BookTube. This is not an oppression or an exclusive uh, a little, little nook of anything. It, it is inclusive. We want you to have fun. So first question, are you traditionally published indie or a hybrid? If you're looking to become a writer, which would you prefer? Hey, you don't have to be a published writer. I am currently in the I'm looking to be a hybrid. Um, I want to go full hybrid because yes, I will be willing to, to, to play ball with certain manuscripts, but with other ones, they're a lot more personal and um, I keep those, you know, a lot closer to the chest. So, and I, I, I appreciate the process of both, I, or, or I suspect I will, or I hope I will. So wish me luck with that. Question number two, do you like to focus on one genre or no limits? Um, I write poetry, I write urban fantasy, middle grade fantasy, nonfiction, um, essays. Uh, I have written in horror in Spanish and I am writing in horror in English. Uh, I don't like to limit myself. I think we have a bunch of soul wells and the more that we explore them, the better. Question number three of the, ta of the tales part. How much do you focus on word count or page count? I've known to obsess about word count and page count, uh, but I've, I've moved away from that. Um, I'm trying to keep a reasonable page count and word count because if you make a book that's way too big, it's not that it's bad, it's just gonna offer you extra challenges if you publish in independently. So that's something that you have to factor in, the cost of stuff. But um, I think a sweet spot, we'll see what book three of the, the human cycle looks like, but I think a sweet spot would be like 80 to 100,000 for, for certain types of novels. And I do think I focus more on page count. I want from here on out everything to be at least 120 pages so that I can get a decent spine on it um, and design on it. <clears throat> Question number four. Uh, what's been the hardest thing to write? Uh, the current manuscript for Beyond Human has been very challenging for a myriad of reasons. Life has come in the way, COVID got in the way, uh, mom passed away. Um, it's just a lot of stuff that that I, I internalize and in this project specifically, a lot of who and how I am and things that I experience uh, bleeds onto the page as, as part of a cathartic process. If you read the, the last eight or nine chapters of Shadow of a Human, they're pretty intense and I was living a really intense time in my life. So I think that um, is the hardest thing that I've had to write and I am still writing, so stay tuned. And question five, what do stories mean to your life? I think stories offer context and meaning and you can have the most valuable information, but if you just spit it at someone, it, it won't stick. If you do it with a compelling narrative, it'll stick. Uh, there's a reason why religions are so powerful. It's because they have a narrative behind them. There's a reason why advice from one person sticks and the other one does not. Often it comes, you know, with delivery of the message. And if you tie it to something that people can relate to, um, it just gets that extra bit of oomph. So yeah, I'll leave it at this. So it's a pretty, pretty tight video, less than 10 minutes for 20 questions. Oh my God, how efficient. So how about you? Are you gonna do this? Do you wanna do this? Are you a reader or are you a writer? Do you have any comments on my questions and answers? If so, use that sexy question, uh, comment section down below. Until next time, peace, love, and market rules.